Hi, modern fashion designers, a very big welcome to you. This is Modern Woman Apparel. In this channel, you will learn pattern drafting, how to transfer your patterns to fabric, and different ways to sew your fabric. So, feel free to join this channel by clicking on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you will get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you. So, in today's class, I will be showing you how to draft, cut, and sew a half scale basic bodice block. That is from your shoulder line to your waistline, or you can say your half length. So, the measurement we'll be needing for this class is the shoulder measurement, the shoulder to bust point. The bust band measurement, the bust circumference, the shoulder to your front waistline, shoulder to your back waistline, and also the waist circumference. So for this class, I'll be working with a shoulder of 16 inches, bust point 11, bust band 8, bust circumference of 38 inches, front waist length of 17 inches, back waist length of 15.5 inches, waist circumference of 34 inches. I'll also be working with a basic neckline of 3.2 inches. How did I get this basic neckline? Simply... Divide your bust circumference by 12. Whatever it gives you, mine is 38. 38 divided by 12 gave me 3.1c. So I approximated it to 3.2. So my anchor depth is 7.8 inches. How did I get it? Bust circumference divided by 6 plus 1.5. And also a chest line of 8.8 .8 inches. How did I get it? Bust circumference divided by 6 plus 1.1 plus additional 1 for shoulder slope. That will give you your chest line. And I'll also be using a bust that of 1.5 inches. How did I get it? I simply subtracted the back waist length from the front waist length. My front waist length is 17 minus 15.5 for the back waist length. That gave me one point. 5 inches. So for the drafting, I'll be making use of pattern paper, measuring tape, paper scissors, straight ruler, eraser, pencil, curve ruler. And also be needing this paper tape or a transparent white tape. I will be showing you what you use it for as we progress. So to start, first thing first is for us to come down from this point by one inch. By one inch, connect the line together to give a straight line. So after getting your straight line, you label it your starting point, your starting line. That means that all our vertical measurements will be taken starting from this line. So now to impute our vertical measurements, our vertical measurements are the shoulder to bust point, the shoulder to waist line, and the, and the chest line also. So I'm working with bust point 11 and waist of 17 inches. 11 and um, 17 inches. So I'm going to connect these lines together to get a straight horizontal line. Next is for us to draw our basic neckline. The basic neckline I'm working with is 3.2 inches. How did I get this 3.2 inches? Divide your ball circumference by 12. Whatever it gives you is the basic neckline for you. So my boss is 38. 38 divided by 12. I got 3.1c, so I prosmeted this to 3.2. So that is what I'll be working with for the neck depth and for the neck width. So place your curve ruler like so. Sorry. And connect. After that, we'll get our shoulder length. The shoulder length I'm working with is 16. So this 16, I'm going to divide it by 2. Divide your shoulder by 2. Give me 8. So I'll come down here, come to this place from the center front. Remember, we are still working on the front block. So next is for us to get the chest line. To get your chest line, divide your bust circumference by 6 plus 1.5 plus 1. This one here, this additional one is for shoulder slope. So when I divided my, I got 
8.8 so I'll connect the points together with a straight line to give me my chest line so having done that we'll come down by 1.5 inches for the front remember for the front come down by 1.5 inches for the shoulder slope front shoulder slope 1.5 inches for front shoulder slope so next is for us to get the armhole depth so from here you mark whatever you have as the shoulder divided by two the same place here so i can get a straight line for the armhole depth So from this point of 1.5 of the shoulder slope, connect it to the chest line. So remember for the front, shoulder slope is 1.5. You ask why did we add one here and now came down here by 1.5. The reason is because this one here is for the back shoulder slope. The front is 1.5 and the chest line for the front and the back is determined by the back shoulder slope and not the 1.5 of the front shoulder slope. I hope you understand. So next is for us to get our armhole curve. To get your armhole curve for the front, come to the chest line. This is chest line. This is the bust point. And this is the waist line. So come to the chest line. Go up from the chest line by 3 inches. Now when you have done that, from the three point of the 3 inches, you go in by 0 0.75. After that, you connect to the shoulder slope like so so for us to get the armhole curve like this we are going to divide the ball circumference by four so this ball circumference i'm working with is 38 38 divided by four i got 9.5 so here 9.5 inches so and because this basic body is one that will have a sleeve so if you're working with this a top that will have a sleeve you have to add 0 0.5 inch here for ease this way you'll be able to lift your hand after wearing your coat you won't have a tight armhole so having done that come here with your curve ruler come to this place with your curve ruler and connect to this point make sure you eliminate charcoal and if you're making a top that does not require sleeve a sleeve left top please stop it here do not add this 0 0.5 and also if you're working with a measurement of bust 36 34 32 any bust measurement that is below 38 take 0 0.25 inch instead of 0 0.5 0 0.5 is for bust 38 and above so having said that Next is for us to get the basic waist that. So how do you get your basic that line? Divide your bust span measurement by two. Your nipple to nipple. Divide it by two. Mine is eight inches. So when I divide it by two, I'll get four inches. And connect with a straight line from your bust point to the waist line. So I'll be going in by... 0 0.75 if you are dealing with a bust circumference of below 38 inches you can take 0 0.5 inch above you take 0 0.75 so you connect to the bust point like so to that legs to the bust point okay having done that next is for us to get the waist measurements Waist circumference I'm working with is 34. 34 divided by 4 is 8.5 inches. So 8.5, come to this CF, center front. Get 8.5 inches. 
8.5 inches. So, and because we have taken a dart of 0 0.75 on, on the two sides, making it 1.5 inches, we are going to replace this 1.5 inches to the waistline. After that, you connect with a straight line to the chest line. Okay, next is for us to get our bust dart. So remember the waistline for the front we are working with is 17 inches, for the back 15.5 inches. So if you leave your pattern this way, you find out that the front length will be longer than that of the back. So to make them equal by the side, the front and the back equal by the side, we are going to introduce a bust dart. So how do you get your bust dart? Bust dart intake is simply the difference between the front waist length and the back waist length. So for my 17 minus 15.5, I got 1.5 inches. So that is my bust dart intake. So from your bust point, come down by 1.5 inches. Remember, measure that of yours and your clients. You may not have the same figure as mine. So connect it to this place. This is basically it for the front. So if you've watched up to this point, don't forget to subscribe, click on the notification bell. Don't forget to like, to share this video, comment on this video. So let's go over to the back pattern. So for the back, first thing first is for you to rule your zipper allowance line. For, so for me, I'm taking a zipper allowance of 1.25 inches. 1.25 inches. And after that, I will also come down here by one inch to rule the starting line just like we did for the front. So having done that, next for us is to draw the vertical measurements. So remember the bust points we're working with is 11 inches, chest line of 8.8 .8 inches. Now for the back length, we're not going to work with a back length of 17 inches. We are going to work with 15.5 inches. So 15.5. So I will rule the lines. To start imputing the measurements, remember, you're not going to start from this line here. You're going to start from this line. This other place is for the zipper allowance. So for the neckline, we are working with a neckline of 3.2 inches. For the back bottom by 1 inch. Connect. Like so, place your curve ruler like so. And connect. After that, we'll get our shoulder line. The shoulder line is 16. 16 divided by 2 is 8. Now for the back shoulder slope, come down by 1 inch. Remember, for the front, we did 1.5 inches. For the back, we'll come down by 1 inch. The reason is because when you watch the shoulders, your shoulder, you find out that the back, the back shoulder slant is a little bit higher than that of the front. So that is why the front is 1.5 inches, while the back is 1 inch. So, to, we also come here. What we have at the shoulder, we also place it here. And from here, we we'll rule our armhole line. We also connect from the shoulder slope to the neckline, like so. Now, to get the armhole curve, remember for the front, we said go up from the chest line by three inches. But for the back, for, for the back, we're going to divide this armhole line by two. So share it into two equal halves. Two, two equal house and mark. So at that middle, you're going to go in by 0 0.5 inch. Remember, for the front, we did 0 0.75. For the back, we're going to do 0 0.5 inch. So after that, you connect to the shoulder slope like so. Now, we also said for... To get this armhole curve here, place your bust 
measurement here. So the bust measurement we're working with is 38, 38 divided by 4 is 9.75 9 plus half inch for ease. Remember I said if you are working with a measurement of below 38, take 0 0.25. Then we'll connect. So next is to impute the waist dart. The waist dart, remember, is to get your waist dart line, divide your bus intake by 2. So the bus intake is 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So remember for the front, we connected it to the, cent the bus points. But for the back, we are going to take it up to the chest line. We are going to take it up to the chest line, like so, and connect. Like so. We took 0 0.75, 0 0.75 from the front. So the same thing is going to apply to the back. So now we are going to impute the waist circumference measurement, which is that 4 divided by 4, which gave us 8.5. 8.5 plus 1.5 inches for the waist that. So we are going to replace it here. And after that, to connect to the chest line. So having done that, next is for us to tighten the zipper to avoid excess, to avoid this folding you have after installing your zipper. So we'll go in, you can go in by 0 0.5, can go in by 0 0.75, can also go in by one inch. For those, if you're working with a client or if you have a very deep back, you can go in, you can eliminate it by one inch. But for this, I'm doing 0 0.75. So 0 0.75, I'll connect it to the middle of this armhole depth. So having done that, whenever you take a dart, you replace it. So this 0 0.75 inch that we took here, we are going to replace it on the waistline. So, you now connect the 0 0.75 to back to the chest line. So, this is it for the back pattern. Next is for us to see how we are going to eliminate this dart here to make sure that the back and the front length are equal. So, if you want to transfer this to fabric, you can either add your seam allowances to your fabric or you add them on your paper so if you want to add on the paper this is what you will do 0 0.5 inch 0 0.5 inch 0 0.5 inch so and also if you want to attach this to a skirt or a peplum or anything you want to attach on that do not forget to add your seam allowance also not forget to add your seam allowance. Now let's cut. So before you add your seam allowance to this place, I will show you what to do because if you leave it this way, the front will be longer than the back. What you do first is to close this boss that here. Remember, you can decide to leave it like this on paper. Then when you transfer it on your fabric, 
you sew the dart here and also sew the dart here. You can also decide to eliminate this close here and sew only here. But for this tutorial, I'm going to eliminate this. I'm removing the dart here and opening only the waist dart. Before you close a dart, sorry, you open another dart. First of all, open a dart. So I'm going to be slashing through this. To close this place so gently take it gently gently and close it now you find out that after closing this that after closing it that you find out that these two lines are no longer equal so don't worry all you need to do is just to blend it in like so carry your pencil blend it in so that is where your paper tape or your transparent tape comes in use it to hold it down you use it to hold it down by so doing, the front and the back will be same. So next you're going to do is to also add paper underneath this front pattern. You can use your you can use your gum to hold it down or anything you have, just hold it down. Like so. Like so. So just hold it down. Come here. Hold it down. After holding it down. So you have to blend it to check if the both of them, the two lines are matching. Are meeting each other. So you can see that the two lines are meet, meeting each other when you hold them together if they are not meeting each other what you do is just to blend in blend in like so and cut it out so after eliminating this boss that you can see that after cutting the back this is the front this is the back after cutting them you find out that both of them are matching they are not meeting each other they are meeting each other remember if you want to add your seam allowance to the pattern you are free to do so just add your all round seam allowances for here just add your side seam allowance and also for here i've already added here 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 so what is left now is for me to add my side seam allowance so i'll see you in the cutting class i wouldn't want this video to be lengthy so i will post the cutting class later just immediately after posting this you also get the cutting and the sewing class thank you so much see you in my next video bye mm -hmm.